Hi, this is Vladan from ESSEC Virtualization Block. In this video, we will install VMware vSAT 6.6 within VMware Workstation in nested environment. As you can see, I am here installing the nested ESXi, which is pretty common these days for uh, testing platforms. And the only thing I need to do uh, which is unusual for uh, this installation is to add two more disks to the SXI host. One will be used for the caching tier and the uh, second disk will be used for a capacity tier. So in total there is three disks. The first disk is used for uh, the installation of the SXI. Yeah the second one for caching tier and the third one for capacity tier for VMware vSAN. VMware vSAN brought many new enhancements and new features, over 20 of them. I have blogged about some of them already and I have upgraded my lab, my physical lab and this is just a demonstration that we can easily set up greenfield environments with VMware vSAN and the VCSA appliance which will be lying on the vSAN data store so we don't need a separate separate data store for the appliance for the vCenter we can use the built-in VMware vSAN data store As the installation continue, I can recommend that you create um, DNS records on your DNS server, which will be used for the VCSA appliance. This is important, otherwise you will have warning and you might get an error. During the video, you will also see that the overall installation process is pretty straightforward, very well done. Here we just need to configure the network for the ESXi host. Note that I have uh, assigned 32 gigs of RAM to this host, to this nested host, but you might be limited in your, in your environment so, but VCSA needs at least 16 gigs of RAM itself to perform well. So you better have some RAM. Here we can launch the configuration of the VCSA, the deployment of vCenter server appliance. We're going to use the embedded platform service controller. We're not doing any complicated installation with two sites, etc. So one PSC embedded into the appliance is very good. We need to get this password right. Yeah. Now install on Virtual Sun directly. Virtual Sun Data Center. Let's leave the default. We're going to climb the disks now. The disks which will be used for a capacity chair and for a caching chair. This is important. I take the smaller disk for caching and the bigger disk for capacity. This is the caching disk and this is no this is the capacity disk. Okay. And we're gonna enable thin disk and deduplication compression as well. Easy. Now system name IP address mm, Virtual 
yeah i need to correct this because this is the fqdn which has to be entered subnet mask default gateway dns hosts yeah at this moment i did not have the records created and i have warning no the clip is heavily accelerated for several instances i only leave at normal speed the configuration screens otherwise the whole the whole installation took a little bit less than 60 minutes 60 one hour now sso username domain name password all this is pretty much the same as in the previous version yeah i can leave this and let's do the final config and here is the first connection to the vCenter server appliance note that this appliance it's double nested it's running on the virtual ESXi hosts so you might imagine that the performance is not that good but actually it is after the first connection yeah here we go we have our virtual sun data center virtual sun cluster and our host and the vcsa and you can see that when we click the general and disk manage the disk management actually that we have one disk group on this particular host and this is it and the vsun is running and the vcsa is running on vsun that's pretty amazing and the user interface is quite responding as you can see it worked pretty well vsun cluster yeah this is new yeah we could easily add a second or third esxi host and have a complete cluster in in nested environment sure thank you very much for watching bye bye